Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to quickly send emails as attachments in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. We're going to cover two different situations in this guide where you may want to send an email as an attachment. The first of these is when we want to create a new email with an email attachment, or just quickly forward an attachment in an email. The second scenario is where we want to add an attachment as part of an existing email thread or an email reply. Let's start by looking at how to attach an email in Gmail to a fresh email that you are creating. So I'm logged into Google and in Gmail. There are a number of ways to attach and send an email or email conversation in Gmail. If you want to just send a single email as an attachment, the fastest way to do this is by starting in your inbox. If you click in the checkbox to the right of the email you want to select in order to highlight it and then move to the three dots in the top menu bar, if we click on that icon you'll see we're offering an option at the very bottom of the list to forward as attachment. If you choose that option, a new email is created and the email is automatically attached to it. This email can then be updated and sent just like a normal email. If I discard that email, you'll see that if we want to select multiple emails, we can also select them by clicking on the checkbox next to each one and then choosing the forward as attachment option from the menu bar. All the emails are then added in the same way as you've seen before. Don't forget that whilst you can attach a large number of emails to an email, Gmail does have a size limit of 25 megabytes, so the emails you attach can't add up to more than 25 megabytes. If I choose to send a new email with an email attachment, I can do this by first clicking on the Compose an Email icon in the top left of the inbox to open a new email window. The easiest way to add attachments to the email is to click and hold the email we want to add and then drag our mouse pointer to the email. We'll know this is working because we'll see the email change to say drop emails here and a blue box will also appear to highlight that we are moving one email conversation. Just like we did in the previous example, we can also move a number of email conversations in one click by choosing to select them from our inbox. And then if we click and hold any one of the emails from the group that we've selected, we can then drag them directly into our email to be attached. One of the restrictions of using the multiple select method is that you can only directly attach emails when they're on the same page view. So if I select three emails from the inbox, and then navigate to another folder, you'll see that the original selected emails are lost. To get around that, you can use labels. If we select the emails we want to add and move to the labels option in the top row, I'll click on that. You'll see near the bottom of the list shown, there is an option to create new label. If I scroll down and choose that, I'm going to add an attach emails label to the emails and I'll click the blue create button to confirm that. Now if I move to a different folder, I can choose the emails I want to attach and I'll add the label as we did before. You'll see that the attach emails label is now shown and can be chosen from the list. To see all the emails in one page view, I'll click into the attach emails folder in the left hand navigation bar. This shows all the emails we've labelled. I can quickly select all the emails in this view by choosing the select checkbox at the top of the page. And then I can drag the full set of emails straight into my new email. Let's now move on to look at the steps we need to take in Gmail to attach emails when replying to an email conversation. So attaching an email to an existing conversation does involve some additional steps. Let's click into an existing conversation. As we don't have email preview set up in Gmail, this opens in its own window. Let's click in the reply option and you'll see a blank reply window opens. In order to attach an email to this reply message, we now need to move this email into a window of its own. And we do that by clicking on the pop out reply option in the top corner of the mail. This then opens the reply message in a separate window. However, we still can't see any emails. So to find them, we need to move to the list of folders in the left hand navigation bar. I'll open the inbox but you should choose the folder where you know the email you want to attach is visible. If you want to attach multiple emails and you're struggling to see all the mails in a single view, check out the tip in the first part of this guide on how to use labels to show all the emails you want to attach in a single view. We can now treat this reply just like a new email. So we can click and hold to drag individual emails we want to attach to the reply. Or as we've seen before, we can select multiple emails using the checkbox on the left and then click and hold any one of those emails 
to drag the whole group into the reply. I hope you find this vocal guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.